morning, sir. I hope you're having a great day. Yeah. I I'm Patricia Jenkinson. I'm calling from the U.S. Census Bureau. Uh, what? The Census Bureau. We're doing the official count of the entire U.S. population as mandated every 10 years by the Constitution. How'd you get this number? Oh, we have everyone's number, sir. Uh, if you have a minute, I'd like to ask you a few questions. Now, <sighs> am I speaking to Mr. Jubal Mulch? First of all, Mr. incredible Jubal title Mulch. that oh. really just gets right to the core of the piece. Um, uh, is a really funny kind of sketch scene that uh, shows immense talent from both the performers and their ability to not only work off each other, but to really um, explore the absurdity of each of their characters in very funny and relatable ways. Um, we have all know like the frustration of having to be on the phone with some kind of government official, but we also can sympathize with the monotony of the government official's job um, and that, you know, it's not always their fault that uh, these things have to be so annoying. So I think it also shows both sides of the argument really well and still manages, again, to be really funny. The shorts that have come from the Zoom, you know, rise in the past few years. And I think that the format was used really well in this case. Uh, the idea of performing a census over video I thought was a little strange at first, but... I think it gives the audience so much more of an opportunity to get to know the characters based on their surroundings. In particular, I really loved the female lead. Um, I thought that she played really well off of the other lead and her slow kind of sinking into uh, madness and rage, I thought was really effective and very funny. Um, so overall, this was a very simple story, but really, really well executed. And I thought this one was really, really funny. Um, just really spot on with a lot of the commentary. You can just almost feel like this. a lot of this conversation might have just been pulled from uh, real life. Uh, just really, really kept me engaged uh, and laughing, uh, especially for what is essentially just, you know, talking heads. It's another Zoom call sort of uh, film. But it really is just uh, just charming and really, really entertaining. Worth checking out. It was Comment. very, very funny. I liked the technical aspect of what they did with the split screen. I thought that was very ingenious and in how within the edit, they went back and forth from uh, full screen to each of them. I thought that each of the actors did a fantastic job. Um, Jim Meskimen is wonderful. So he's always wonderful in whatever he does. And this was no exception. You know, he really did a great job. And the leading lady also did a great job playing with him. I, I believed that the two of them were talking to each other. And I also believed that they were these characters. So it was very funny. It was also a very, very funny census that was, that was being done and um, great story great with a beginning, middle, and end. So great. And I also liked how we really didn't need to um, be in the, the physical realm of either of the characters. Like, just having it work as um, a split-screen phone call, I thought, worked really well. Um, just the... <laughs> both characters were so funny and well done and you know the guy was just so out there and how do I know that you're not a robot and she's like well I'm speaking to you um, he was just so over the top but it was great and then you know the whole thing of he is reluctant to give her information he's totally against the census that she's doing but in the process of expressing all of this to her, he's actually giving her exactly the information that she needs. So I just thought the setup was perfection. And um, yeah, both the actors just did such an incredible job, especially when the census woman started threatening him and yelling out for his wife and, and kind of figured out what his kryptonite was in order to get to what, in order to get what she wants. So I thought this was comedy gold. Great job. <laughs> definitely, definitely had a good time with that one. Uh, very, very, um, modern as well with the use of FaceTime. Um, but yeah, <laughs> it was definitely very funny. Um, just seeing the back and forth between, um, 
the census worker and um and the guy he he definitely gave me like um gta 5 trevor vibes um but it was also really funny how every time he tried to threaten the census worker all he was doing is giving her exactly what she wanted that by the end of it he had she had a census of the entire family it was a uh, it was really fun seeing him push all these buttons and her just taking it on the chin until she finally reached a breaking point when he tried to accuse her of sexual harassment and then she found a way to make him cooperate like she flipped it by calling out to his wife and saying stuff like you're as attractive as the skinless raccoons in your backyard so yeah this is just a really fun back and forth and Real, just prove that you don't need to do a lot in order to make something entertaining. It was well done for, you know, the, the constraints of being over uh, Zoom or like a digital uh, videotaping platform. So I think it had a lot of potential with this idea of someone getting a uh, an unknown call. I do think it's kind of weird that they answered and it's like a Zoom um, and I know that's just like a drawback of the fact that it, it can't be like a normal census worker going to the door. Um, and I'm sure that was just like a change that needed to be made because of, you know, the world that we live in. Um, but that aside, like it was, uh, really interesting. This guy catches himself up in a lot of, a, you know, um, he trips himself up a lot and it's kind of fun to watch. Uh, I think the census worker had um, pretty good timing and the way that she responded to to this like crazy man. Um, so overall, yeah, it was really pleasant to watch and I think it has a lot of potential um, once, if, if you have the opportunity to, you know, film it um, face to face. I think I think it would just be even better than what it is right now.